don't pull the ladder that you use in climbing. And when you pull the ladder, when you want to come down, the ladder may not be there. Eason Wiki has met his match. He is now begging the governor of River State, Simi Fubara, after realizing that Tinibu and Court Yulin will not make him control finances. Please, guys, watch the video. Remember to like, share this video, and leave your opinion in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't pull the ladder that you use in climbing. And when you pull the ladder, when you want to come down, the ladder may not be there. For Wiki to be talking about the ladder, it means that Sim Fubara has humbled him. He's now begging. He has met his match. He thought he could have gotten away with all the crazy demands. Imagine asking for 25% from the governor of River State. Imagine giving him a condition that he will not be able to approve any contract or anything above 5 million naira as the governor. What audacity! This man had the audacity to say on national television that even if he demands 25% from Tim Fubara that it's all politics. Imagine trying to legitimize robbery in our very own eyes and Nigerians are doing nothing. That's why all these politicians, they get away with anything. Even the judiciary that we are saying that they are more corrupt, they've been waiting for a very corrupt politician that will enable them to do whatever they like. Yes, apart from things that passed under the table, there are other motivations for supporting Tinubu and upholding the heist that happened on February 25th. They found a corrupt person in him that will look away, they will do whatever they want without limit. Unlike under Buhari, why Buhari actually arrested some judges was because he knew they were working for PDP, they were in the pockets of PDP politicians, so he felt they would work against him during his re-election. He didn't do it because he wanted to fight corruption, no, 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 no. Immediately he successfully got them to his side, he looked away, they continued with their corruption. And that corruption has gotten to an alarming level. Imagine a court judgment was leaked on Sunday and people were saying, where did this one come from? It's a rumor. It was forged. But before our very eyes on Monday, a judge announced the same judgment. In politics, there are things you must not do. There are things you must uh, do. This is Wike in 2018 advising the then governor of Lagos State, Ambode, to resist his godfather. Is Nwike going to take his own advice now? Because he's obviously trying to become a Tinubu in River State. Tinubu has been successful being a godfather in Lagos State since 1999. The same thing Nwike wants to repeat in River State, it has never worked. From Peter Odele to Rotimia Mechi and to Nwike, Nwike thinks he can start making money from River State the same way Tinubu makes from Lagos State so that he can use that to fund a future political ambition. But he forgot one thing, he should have done it the same way Tinubu did it. He should have used his power while he was still governor to make sure they pass a law that will make his company the sole collector of taxes in River State. If he had done that, he wouldn't have had this problem today. That's by the side, he's now begging Fubara, that's why he took him to Asorok so that <coughs> Tinubu will intervene. But the intervention is very illegal because no political solution can be used to solve a judicial problem. Yes, we know that Nigeria is officially a lawless country. There is no law. Justice is for sale. But we will still continue to talk about the law. We must continue to remind people that these people are doing things illegally. It is not the way things are supposed to be done. When Fubara arrived at Sorok with his delegates, they were told to sign the attendance register they all signed and they entered. Tinubu had a private meeting with him in the presence of Peter Odele. He assured them that Fubara didn't do anything wrong, that he did the right thing. When they came out in the enlarged meeting, he announced the agreement that is floating around on social media right now. They never discussed the agreement with Fubara. They lifted the signature from the attendance register and pasted it on the agreement. You know they are very good in forgery. Even the River State Television has announced that the agreement is null and void, that Fubara wasn't part of it. So they are trying to use a political solution to solve a judicial problem. The law is very clear, not only the law, there is a Supreme Court precedent concerning any lawmaker, whether at the House of Assembly or at the Federal House. 
that the comes to another party, the person must lose his seat. Yes, if you are elected as a legislator on a particular platform, you must not decamp. If you choose to decamp, your seat must be declared vacant. A new by-election must be conducted so that you can now contest in your new party. Yes, if you win there, you go back to the house. So that is exactly what happened in River State. All the lawmakers that decamp to APC, their seats were declared vacant. So INEC is mandated to conduct by-elections so that the seats can be filled by new candidates. This is the position of the law. Fubara has the upper hand here. It will be very naive of him to lose the advantage. So all these the politicians are doing, who will in his right mind as a foreign investor invest in Nigeria at the moment? You can't even uphold your own laws. No president has any power to solve a judicial problem through political means or executive powers. It doesn't exist. If the House members are challenging the declaration of their seats in court, it's only the court that will decide. No political office holder will decide the matter, only the courts, except they decide to go back to PDP. If they go back to PDP, the party might decide to accept them and that will be the end of the matter. This is not in any way trying to support anyone. All of them didn't win an election in the first place. Even Tinubu didn't win Rivers. Wike lost his polling unit, his ward, his local government and River State. We all know what he did. He rigged everything and unfortunately, the judges upheld all the heists. So it's not as if they think in the interest of Rivers people. They are only thinking of their own interest. That's why all these lawmakers decamped en masse without even considering the implications that they will lose their own seats because they are following someone blindly, someone that used state money to buy forms for you, gave you money for campaign. You think you owe him anything. This is river state money. Anyway, sometimes when these people do all these sort of things, they take all of us as you can't do anything, we'll do whatever we want, we'll get away with it. It reaches to a level that people can no longer control their anger because we know that it's only a revolution that will stop all this rubbish. Yes, every institution that is supposed to uphold the law in Nigeria to make sure the pillars of democracy are still standing, they've all been bought. We've seen successors turn against their predecessors in politics. Yes, yeah. Would you be worried to if that happens to you? Why? Is it serving me? He, was he going to serve me? He was going to serve the state. The problem we have our leaders have is that look, you you have you 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 succeeded in supporting the person to be in office, right? What you did is it for him to fail or to succeed? You want you to come into your heart to be taking orders? You want your wife to go into time? Look, this is what I want to do. Not what, what you see. When well, once you have left office, you give yourself that respect. The impunity is just too much to show you that these judges are highly corrupt. Is it Tinubu that told the CJN to appoint his relatives into positions that is unethical for him to do that? No, it's simply because he's very corrupt. They've seen the opportunity to live the kind of life they want, put judgment for sale to the highest bidder, whatever you want, whatever you wish, they will give it to you, they will grant whatever injunction, whatever motion they will give it to you is for sale. They will keep dribbling you, go to the first court, they will give you this one, you go to appeal, you go up to the Supreme Court, they will keep dishing out whatever judgment they want just to make money from people. This is not how to build a country. And the more these judges and politicians continue getting away with impunity, the more it gets worse. State resources are limitless, they can borrow any amount of money and squander them, the future generation will repay the loans. And how much have they taken so far? More than $100 billion. Nigeria is indebted to that level. Who will pay them? Most of the taxes we are collected in advance, like all those tax policies that Buhari implemented. Taxes that companies like MT and Dangote were supposed to pay over a period of, say, 10 years or 15 years. They tell them to use that money to construct roads, construct projects. That means these companies will not pay taxes to the federal government for up to 10 years or 15 years because they use that money to construct roads. So as they are moving forward, the revenue is already shrinking. So they will need more money to accommodate their lifestyle. And where will the money come from? From borrowing. They keep borrowing and making sure they implement all the conditions that the lenders give to them. These Naira floats and fuel subsidy removal are part of the conditions that the lenders give to Nigeria and unfortunately they are implementing them. So who is suffering? 
the poor masses are the ones suffering. So whether we care, we finally use Supreme Court to remove Fubara from government house. It is the river state people, the poor masses that are suffering from the problem, not the politicians because at the end of the day, they will go behind the scenes and start dining together. They are playing with the future of their people.